The second technical indicator we looked at is the CML mammoth. That's for moving average and momentum model. And here's how it works. We started with several moving averages. Then we took them and we lined them up relative to where they were for each other, for each stock. That is, which ones were above the others and which ones were below the others, testing all of the various combinations. We also tested how far apart the moving averages were from each other. That is, were they really spread out or were they tightly grouped together? Then with some machine learning techniques, we found the comparisons and the moving averages that helped predict future stock returns. The next step was to include the current stock price in this measurement, where it lined up relative to the moving averages, and how far it was from them, one by one. Once we had a definitive solution for that, we turned to momentum. We didn't only look if a stock had moved up or down on consecutive days, but also by how much. Was it a small move up or a large move up? Or a small move down or a large move down? Finally, we looked at the Bollinger Bands and the Keltner Channels, and if the stock was above or below the key levels. With all of that, we were able to build the CML Moving Average Momentum Indicator, CML Mammoth, an empirical and explicitly tested technical indicator that shows when a stock is heating up. We have the full details of how this technical indicator was created, including the full equation that allows you to calculate it yourself in the Discover tab with great detail. Now let's look at some of the results. We'll start out by entering four tickers. We'll do two of the chip giants, NVIDIA and LAM Research. We'll do everyone's favorite momentum stock, Netflix. And then just for a change of pace, we'll look at Ford Motors, the automobile manufacturer. We'll look at getting long a call, never trading earnings, and we will use the bull mammoth technical indicator. So under open trade when, we would go to bull mammoth. And here are our results over the last five years using the options that are the closest to 14 days. You can see across the board the results are enormous and we can see the win rates. With Nvidia, we're looking at a 60% win rate. So this trade certainly does lose. With LAM Research, we're looking at a win rate of 65%. With Netflix, we're actually looking at a win rate of 53.5%, so 23 wins and 20 losses. And with Ford, over five years, even though this only triggered seven times, it did in fact win all seven times. But the key to notice here is that this trade doesn't occur a lot. It does occur more frequently with stocks that are more volatile. So we can see that technology stocks have more trades triggered than Ford over the last five years. But let's dive deeper. If we tap on a backtest tile, we can see the details. So for NVIDIA, we can see the average return was 40.8%, 21 wins and 14 losses. So an average return of 40% over 35 trades every two weeks. The average win was over 114%, and the average loss was 69%. So when this trade goes bad, it certainly is a substantial loser. But the trades win more often than they lose, and when the trades win, they're substantially larger, almost two to one, than the losses. We can take a look at Ford, a less volatile stock. We can see the average trade return, again, this is over 14 days, is 65.5% with seven wins and no losses. However, over five years, this only occurred seven times, so it's a trade that requires patience. Finally, we can look at Netflix, which had the lowest win rate. We can see that the average trade win is 127%, while the average loss is 55%. So while the trade wins just a bit more often than it loses, the returns are substantially larger for the winners than they are for the losers. As with any trade in Trade Machine, you can always look at every single trade, every single date, and every single price, and just download it into Excel to make it a little easier to look at. As always, to learn more about the model, you can just go to the Discover tab, and underneath Frequently Asked Questions, you can go to the details behind the CML Mammoth model. Tap on that link, and here you will see a full description of the model, how to use it, the general idea behind it, and then step by step, variable by variable, the statistical results, the significance, and all of the details that allow you to recreate this model yourself if you want to. So yes, again, technical analysis 
can work. Moving averages, momentum, and volatility bands, when combined, can work. It takes the empirical rigor of some machine learning, but we do have historical win rates with this technical trigger. We do have historical returns. We do have a basis for which to describe our explicit results. Answers. That's what this was about, and that's what we got.